Hi everybody, it's Sam here and Nan's in the house. We've Hi. Just... <laughs> Go on, tell us. Hi everybody, <laughs> I'm Nan. <laughs> Sorry we were laughing just before oh. um, we started recording. Do you want to wave, give a little wave? Hey everybody. I'm having a fantastic time, I really am. <laughs> oh. So Nan is back. I know lots of you have um, <laughs> been asking when she was going to be next on a video. You've kind of overtaken me a little bit now, I think, because people seem to like you more oh. than me. And um, they, Nan was overwhelmed by all of the lovely comments oh, that you definitely. posted on the Facebook photo that I put up. Oh. So you just wanted to say thank you, didn't yeah, you? I and do. To, I want to say thank you to everybody. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're here. We're crafting. And we're going to show you how to make these really pretty cards. You love these, don't you? I do. Yeah. I What's do. the favourite bit that you love most about oh. these cards? The, the pretty little... The doily, no, the doily. Did. I do. Yeah, <laughs> I love the doily. Do you want to show them how it works? Do you want to hold the card up? So this is a pull-out card. It's not my design. It's something I saw, but I wanted something that was going to be quite easy for Nan to be able to make. So it's a, it's like a Z fold, but it has this pop-up piece inside there. Really fun design, isn't it? Do you want to show how it stands up? It's just great. It's it's lovely, is. isn't it? Back. So we just turn it around that way. There we go. And what did you do there to do that? Can you remember what I said it was called? no heat embossing heating oh yeah heat embossing yeah it's not lovely it is it's really really nice and you can see there again do you want to just do what i'm doing there just pull the side of yours so they can see it it's just a really fun just something a bit different isn't it and it's no. easy did you think it was easy to make oh, i did yeah i did which is what we like pretty easy yes. so should we show them how we made them yes do you want to say okay let me show you how to make okay, it okay let's us show you how to make them so we're going to be using the paper boutique ocean breeze this is a old collection but i had loads of the toppers and i had all of it so there's, there's quite a few bits left but not very many of the plain papers so we've got those for the cards that we're making today along with the toppers but i thought this would work well for both of us because we both live by the sea yes very so, very appropriate really really pretty loads of nice sentiments in there and everything so we've pulled out the papers and everything that we like I'm also using the Crafters Companion Basket Weave. This is the embossing folder. And I don't think you've done embossing. I don't think we've done it on no, any. I don't think so. No, no, not on the other tutorials. This is really nice. And we're going to do some heat embossing as well. And I don't think we've done that with you before. So we're also using stitch squares. We've got oh. circle dies. got different ones there. And then we've got some lovely sentiments here. And we've got another set as well. But we'll choose all of that near the end. So I've already gone ahead and got everything ready here. Now I've scored and cut all of my pieces. So we're going to go through Nan's here. So first of all, we'll tell everybody the cardstock size. So you want a piece of 10 by 5. Basically, what you start making is a Z fold card to start with. Um, don't worry, you don't need to know what a Z fold card is, Nan. But those that are watching, they will know what a Z fold card is. <laughs> so first of all... <laughs> You want to score at two and a half and five inches. So Nan, if I hold that there at two and a half, well, I'll do one first. You can do the five inch. So you're going to score. You push down and you see all these like little lines. There's all tracks. Oh, yes. yes. This sits in the track and it yes. causes a crease. So, you know, when you fold your cards in half, this gives you the crease to fold oh. it. So I'm going to put it there at five. Now, do you want to hold this and you're going to push down? Hold this here, the tool. Push it down like a pen. So hold it like a pen or a pencil. Push it down and just go all the way down. Keep going. Can you feel it's like in the... I can. I don't yeah. know if I've done it yeah, straight. Yeah, no, it, you, well, you can't not go straight because it's in the track. Oh, right. So if, you, if I take the card away, go on, hold it still. You hold it and then just find a line. Can you feel when you go down? Oh, yes, yes. You feel the track? Yes. So that's how it does it. So yes. everybody, I'll just go over that one again. So you just want to score at two and a half and at five inches. Okay. Next, we're going to fold in half, like so. So that gives us our five by seven card. And then we're going to fold this one back. And that will give us a Z fold shape. And this here is how you crease it. So do you want to just go back over those folds and just kind of, just like I did then, just kind of, that's it, brush over it. And it just creases perfect. And again, yep, that one there. Perfect. So now this is a common card style. Right. That's called a Z fold because it's in the shape of a Z. Mm -hmm. oh, so yes, lots of people, yes. you know, they're, they're kind of very quick makes to do. So now we've got that style. What we want to do is open it back out again. And you want to have the folded side in your scoreboard right back at the top here. 
So what we're going to create, if I bring this one in that I've already done, we want to create this little pop-out piece. Oh. You see? Yeah. So there's the original card, like yours. Yeah. Like so. Okay. But now we want to add this pop-out piece. Now the easiest way to do this, let me just check my measurements on this one. Yeah, one and a half in. So what I'll do is I'll just start it off and then you can join it up. So you're going to do a mark or you want to score at one and a half and five and a half. And you want to come down one inch so if you don't have any measurements on the side of your scoreboard you can lay a ruler down there or you can draw a pencil line but i'm just going to score down there for nan just through because you've got to go through those two layers so at one and a half and at five and a half and then what i'm going to get you to do nan is join it up so then when you've done those two score lines down to one inch you want to pop it on this side and you should see your one inch marker at the top here. You want to hover your stylus until you meet that score line and then you're going to join them up. So do you want to now come in and hold this for me? I'll put it in place for I you. I can see yeah. it. Yeah. And then you're going to push, push with all your might all the way down until we join up. There we go. Perfect. Now, do you want to just go over that again? Go on, you, you push down. That's it. Oh, hang on. You got it. No, 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 it's fine. There we go. Push right down. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. Perfect. That's it. So now we've created oh, look at this shape that's here. Clever. All right. And that's the same as this one here. And in a minute, mm. we're going to cut down them. Um, well, we don't need to do any more cutting for now. But that is everything you need to do to make that clever. style. All right. So now I've caught up with you. Now, I've already cut mine, but you're going to ignore that. We don't want to cut it yet. I think it's going to be easy now if we decorate all the panels and then we cut into it afterwards. So what you're going to want next is we've got these lovely prints. Look at this one. Nice. Beautiful, that, isn't it? That is pretty. So mm. you want to choose a nice pattern paper to go inside the card. I think it's that way up, actually. So this is a piece of four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So that's going to go in there. OK, then we've got the same here in that print. This is going to go on this inside side piece. And this is two and a quarter by six and three quarters. And then this is how it's going to fold so it'd be in the envelope like this mm. you've then got this cream piece which we're going to emboss and this is two and a quarter by six and three quarters and that's going to go there and all this is for our decoration so you want to get all these pieces stuck down but before we stick these down nan i'm going to show you some embossing so if you look on this one you might feel it more than you can actually see it if you feel that piece of cardstock oh yeah can you see it yeah that lovely pattern it is. that's what you create with these embossing folders oh, so this one here nice. is a basket weave design yeah so what you want to do is you're going to pop this in here we'll just line it up because it just fits in because this is a five by seven so we'll just sit that one there and then i'm going to get you to run this through the die cutting machine so just keep that there for a second let's bring this in so this is how we die cut everything which you've used i think we used this once or twice in one of the other tutorials i think i did actually i think i'm gonna to have to set up a nan series on my youtube channel <laughs> so i think this is our third now or fourth uh, video so we've put them all together yeah. so what happens is you put this between these two plates okay i'm going to pop it in there now i want you to turn that crank that around if it feels hard, don't worry, keep going, keep going all the way through and we'll reverse it back as well. Keep going. Good workout for you. And then reverse it. Go back the other way now just to get a nice pattern. That's it. Keep going. Perfect. So now if I just get rid of this. And bring this one back in. If you lift that up, take it out. So just lift up the bottom, so take the card out. Go on, don't worry, it might be sat in there because it's, it's gone into all the grooves, so you might have to just pick it out. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Isn't that clever? It's a nice pattern as well, yes. isn't it? So now that will go, rather than just being a plain piece, which looks nice, but look how much nicer it looks. Oh, definitely. With that pattern on there with that mm, beautiful isn't it so we're going to get all those stuck down i've already got mine here so i'm doing the opposite to you so i've got mine in pink That's there nice. and then i have these pattern pieces to go in here oh, so we're gonna no it's so, lovely isn't it so yeah. we're gonna get all this stuck down
Okay, so we've stuck down all of our pattern paper there. Next, we want to fold it back in half and you can see those score lines that you made yeah. before. What you want to do is you want to cut down each of those lines. Okay, can you see the line? Can you see that score line? You just make it out, you can, yeah, yeah, that's it. So if I get your scissors in place, if I start you off, in fact, if I go up to where you can cut, there we go. Right, so I've started it off for you. Put your hand through the scissors, close them, go on, push, push, that's it, perfect. And then we're going to do the same on this one here. So again, let's just go up to, let me just line it up so it's one cut for you. Uh, there we go. So again, squeeze that. Yep. Straight. Yep. Perfect. That's it. That is. Yep, that's it. So now what will happen, so you, just for everybody watching, you just want to cut up your two score lines. And then when we open it, because you've got these score lines here, what you might want to do, I'll just grab my scoreboard here. It may be worthwhile. It might be worthwhile just going over, just find a track in the score, oh, in the um, scoreboard there and just join up like so. But now what you're going to do is I want you to push, push that out it's kind of hard for you to do. Yeah, but I'm trying to get it so that you get to do it. Push that out and then you want to, let me do it the way that the card's going to open. So this is now going to come out towards you. In fact, I'll get you to burnish it. But I'm just pushing. You see now this piece oh, is coming yes. into the card. But if I get you to just push the card flat, that's it. Oh, right. Yeah. And now use this to really burnish those creases. So right along here, this side probably not the easiest one for you to use let me just grab this one here just drag it across with your hand that's it perfect yeah perfect so now when you open it because that's how it's going to be closed still when we open it you have this piece Goodbye. that pops up and that's what we're going to pop all our decoration yeah, marvelous, on that. so i'm just going to show it again to those that are Oh, I'm wanting to make this one so again I did cut mine but I'm going to go back over them again because I've got the pattern paper in there now if you want to cut your pattern paper so it goes around this piece you can but I think this is a nice quick way for you know people to make it rather than cutting the cardstock so it fits, fits exactly so again I'm just going to line it up so it fits into the tracks there just go back over those and then again you want to bring this out and then just Fold it back on the score lines there, as long as this whole piece comes into the mm -hmm. card. Yes. And then I can push that down. And then again, I can just really burnish those folds. So again, we've both got the same now, but you'll see that we've got marvelous. that pop up. Because you're covering it all, what some people might want to do is they might want to make the pattern paper that kind of like a C shape. Mm -hmm. But for the, the you, you don't see the pop up piece because no, we're going to cover all no. that. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Right, so next we bring back in all of these pieces here. So we went ahead and we've already die cut a lot of these pieces. So I'll talk you through the sizes of the squares. So I used this one, you know, next one down, I think it was. Yeah, so these two squares here, it doesn't matter if you have a die or you cut these by hand. But these are, um, well, if you do two and a quarter squared, that will be fine. So I've got two of those, and these are going to go like this on the front of the card. And then we've cut our pattern paper, which is two by two. See those beautiful floral prints? Oh, Aren't they yes. lovely. Yes. Okay, so that's two by two. So you want to get those stuck down. But then we've also cut these squares here. So we've got a large one, which is, I would do four and a half will be fine. And then whatever your next size down with your dies would be. But this one here, again, do four. Um, it's four and one eighth. But as long as they, they layer on top of each other. Now you'll get two cards because you're going to actually now we're going to cut these in half. So you, you could have them for another card. But because I've done the reverse on my one, I just cut them again. But what I want you to do now, Nan, is... I'm going to line this up for you. I don't want you to cut my fingers off, okay? No. <laughs> I want you to now pull that down. Go on. Just pull it yep. down. Watch your fingers. That's it. Go on. Perfect. 
So Good. now we've got our two halves. God, that's sharp. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly don't want to get your fingers stuck in there. And again, I'm just going to lay this down for you. So you just want to line it up point to point. And again, you just want to take that lever, push it down. Perfect. So now we're going to have half for our card, but then you've got another half there for your other card if you want to make a couple. Now, again, we want to emboss this top piece so it continues that pattern. So we're going to get this piece embossed. So now we're going to stick this one on top of here and we're going to stick all of these down here. OK, so we've stuck all of those pieces down. So now we've got this topper here, which says sending you birthday wishes. And then I just used one of our circle dies. You can see you get a nice frame when you stick that over the top. So if you want to pop some glue on the back of that now, we're just going to get our topper stuck down. OK, so now what you want to do is start attaching everything. So this piece, you're going to stick on top of this piece here. All right. So what I want you to do is run some glue along that bit there. Yeah. Can you see that bit? Yeah, that's it. Perfect. All the way to the end. Yeah, lovely. Let me just pop a bit more in the corner for you to make sure it completely sticks to that. Lovely. Now I want you to take that piece and I want that you to stick that flat edge against the card there on the top of that little piece. Perfect. Yep, yeah, that's great. That's it. It will just sit there and then just tap the top there just so the glue. That's it. You can feel that's it. There you go. Perfect. And now you'll see when that closes, you see how that kind of yes. lifts up? You can see that cool effect you get now. That glue is very good, isn't it? It's good, it? isn't it? Yeah. I love this stuff. Works right away. Next, these pieces are going to go on here. And can you see we've got these points? So we've got a point here. Yes. We've yes. got a point here. And then you're going to have your other point. Now, everybody's sizings and stuff is going to be different. So they might want to have them touching in the middle. They might want to have it touching at the, the tops here. Mm -hmm. Because we've got our topper, it's going to sit like so. Right. So it's almost hiding that one. But the idea is, is that when you open this, you then see it. So when yeah. it's open, you yeah. see that lovely effect you get. Lovely. But I've got these little doilies now, and I don't oh. know what you think about having that behind. Oh, no, I like those. I knew you'd like it. <laughs> oh, I like those. <laughs> so do you want to pop some glue in sits, the middle of that? Sits that off. A it does, doesn't bit. it? I thought so. I knew you'd like that. Right in the middle. That's it. Squeeze it a little bit. That's perfect. That's enough. Right. Yeah, let me just spread out. There we go. And then I want you to stick that in the middle of that doily. Oh, I do like that. That's it. Move it across a little bit. Keep going. Perfect. That's, there we go. That's yeah, that's just push that down. Make sure that's stuck down. Oh, brilliant idea. And I'm just going to pop mine in the middle of this one as well. So we're going to get all this stuck down now. Now it's up to you. You might not want to have a topper like we are going to do. You might not want to have something covering the, the squares. You might want to have a sentiment in one of the squares. It's entirely up to you. It's a really nice style. But you just want to stick your glue on one half of this and then stick that half onto the front. And again with that one there. And then we're just going to stick one half of this over the top like so. I'm just oh, going to get mine stuck down. Very nice, that is. <coughs> Lovely, isn't it? Even though I say it myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd like it. I thought as soon as I saw these doilies, I thought, yeah. Uh, no, honestly, it, it just does something to the card a bit more. It does, doesn't know. it? Makes mm. it, I think, very pretty. Yes. Makes it a little, like a soft, yeah. adds a soft touch to it. Looks like lace effect. Yeah. I'm just going to pop my one on here. I can't get over the fact that glue sticks so quickly. It's very strong as well. Yes, Can you very... smell it though? Can you smell an odour? Because I'm used to it now. But um, well, I don't find it no. awful. No. It's got quite a sol it's a solvent glue, so it's got quite a strong smell. So I'm just going to stick my two down. OK, 
Okay, so we stuck everything down. What do you think so far, Nan? I think they're absolutely lovely. Yeah? Even though I say it myself with the one I'm doing. Do you think yours is better than mine? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're oh, lovely. They are really lovely. pretty, aren't they? No, I do. I think they're lovely, both of them. Well, I've got one more thing that I think you're going to like, and this I'm is going to make it. To bake my old one, though. Good, oh, I'm yeah. glad. Well, we're going to now do some heat embossing for our sentiment on the back, and then we're going to finish it off with some pretty gems on the front as well. Oh. So we've cut ourselves pieces here. These yeah. are three and three quarters by six and three quarters. Right. And this is where we're going to have our space on the back to write a message. Now, if people want to, they could have another kind of square cut in half in white under here and that could be where they write their message they could have something on here they might want to do a triangle down here there's lots of other inspiration and ways to decorate these um you know so have a little look but we're going to stick to this on the back now we have these sentiments here or we've got these ones here now you liked this one didn't you someone special someone kind you're the one who comes to mind just to say a big thank you for all the lovely things yes. you do yeah i like that one so you're going to stamp that one. And I think on the back of my one, I'm going to have, I hope you have a delightful day and a year full of joy and love. So what this is now, this is heat embossing. And it's a really lovely technique. And this is kind of what got me, I guess, more serious into card making. Mum showed me this. So we do yours first of all. So what you want to do, this here is a little, there's hardly anything left in it, but inside here is just a powder and it's an anti-static powder. So I want you to, you can't see nothing, so don't worry. I want you to just rub that over this white piece of card for me. Okay, so just rub it, just rub the whole, that, that yeah, way. just rub it over. As if you were rubbing some butter on a pan. Oh, all right. Yeah, just rub it all over. Keep going, keep doing it. This will get rid of any greasy marks, any static. Oh. It, it just makes it, because we're using this powder here. Yes. And we don't want that to stick anywhere else apart from on our stamped uh, sentiment. Right. Okay. Is that it? I think so. I'll give it one good go for good measure. Just get some of the powder there as well. But I think we're good to go. So then we're going to grab your stamp here and peel it off backing there i'll get this lined up for you because i think it's going to be a bit hard for you to see that because it's so clear it is so let me just check i think that's about right oh no that's the wrong one for two very special people oh, I no. wish... <laughs> <laughs> oh no and you worry about your eyesight yes. <laughs> i think i need glasses sometimes oh. let me just check that straight there we go i think we're good to go there right i want you to close this down like a book Okay, so close that down. Keep going. Close it right down. Push it over that bit and then pick it back up again. That's that? Yeah, pick it back up again. What it's done now is it's lifted the stamp onto this side. Okay. What we're then going to do is we're going to, it's not stamped anything yet because oh, right. we haven't put any ink on it. This here is, a, is what they call a watermark ink. Right. It's going to be clear. So again, don't worry that you can't see anything. But I want you to stamp this now. That's the sticky pad. Right. I want you to stamp it over there over the stamp the stamps just below my hand okay that's it push down yep push down like if you do it like this do it like that that's it perfect is that yep. enough? that's enough yep and then i want you to close it now again like a book you're going to now stamp this but remember it's clear so don't worry at the moment because this stuff's going to stick to it in a right. minute this here it's got felt on it. Put that on there. Now just push down over that and move it around. A bit like that game. What's that? Oh, um, yes. Oh, what's that game with the I puck? I can't think. With the know, puck that you would... Um, someone would tell me in the comments. Yeah. But how much easier is that? Isn't it easy to now push down on the stamp? Mm. This was made by a friend. She sent one. She made one for mum as well. We both oh, got one. Cool, aren't they? Very good. Okay, so now you can lift it up. Perfect. And now I can just about make this out. Let me just check i think we'll do one more so again i'm just going to pop that back in these are little magnets i'll just get some more ink down for you but now if you close that again and then just use that to really push down all you might that's it perfect okay i'll just give it a go for good measure there we go that's better i can really see it now yeah, that's perfect. Don't worry, you. I'm not. Don't worry at all. Yeah. You can't, I don't want you panicking, thinking you uh, there's something wrong. God, I can't see a thing. So this is where the fun now happens. So, just got a bit of paper to grab it. It's almost like a glitter. I want you to very 
carefully or keep it within this piece if possible but just sprinkle that powder onto this area here okay go on sprinkle it out till you start doing it then you'll start to see what you're doing keep going you're not even out yet turn it up a bit more that's it don't oh. worry no no you've got to tip it no it doesn't matter how much we're going to put it back into the bottle oh, just cover nice. that area it's like when you're using glitter <laughs> you really panic then You've done something wrong. No, i'm just going to shake it over can you see where it's starting to stick oh look at that i knew you'd like this oh that is clever but now if i just get a brush here because this is going to be a bit harder for you to see these little bits but this is an odd little but by us using that powder oh, that little never... pouch that it stops clever. it now what we're going to do is we're going to add heat to it and we're going to heat we're going to melt it this is basically like little plastic granules and we need to melt it there now i'm going to leave that out because i'm going to use that in a second this clever. here is like a hair dryer but it's much stronger and you wouldn't want to use this on your hair but you want to let this heat up for a good 20 30 seconds so just hold that there for a second now please don't burn my fingers when i hold this up is that all right <laughs> Hold that gun, and I want you to aim it onto that. You don't touch it, you just want to get it quite close. That's it. And you're going to keep doing circular movements. A bit closer, like that, that's it. And just keep going, circular motions. You see already, can you see that starting to get shiny? And then work your way, once it's gone shiny, move your way down, that's it. Magic. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? I love this. Yeah. And it really makes your cards special. Right down to the end, and I like to go over for good measure, give it one more blast. Perfect. Just turn that off. I'll just give it a little shake just to let it cool. Now you feel that and look at that. Can you see it close up? I feel. Yeah. God. Look at that. Shining as well. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's like silver. Yeah, silver. That is marvellous. I knew you'd like that. Oh, I do. <laughs> Very much. Because this is new to me. I know. This bit, isn't it? Wow, now you can say you've done that. Yes. And then we're going to stick that on the back of the card. So now you can write to Lisa, yeah. lots yeah. of love. You know, oh. you've got your space there. There's a little bit warped, but once we stick that down, it will be fine. Yeah. So I'll just shape it a little bit. But Nan's going to get hers stuck down and I'm going to get mine heat set. But yeah, when you get this, you just dump it on. doesn't matter how much, oh, you just dump it down. That really scared me, that did. And now, thought, oh, you... God, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right, we'll warm this up. You can heat set my one again here if you want. So I'll get this all nice and hot again. Seems like a hairdryer. Yeah. Yeah, but you definitely wouldn't want to use that on your hair. No. You feel how hot that is on the back? You feel the heat? Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's very, yeah. very quick, very high, high heat. What about these hearts, Nan? Yeah. You like them? She likes, yes, I do. She likes hearts. Perfect. So we're now going to finish our cards with these little embellishments. Like so. Oh, one's already fallen off. Take that one off there. Okay. Now, you, Abe, can you see that okay? Yeah. Can you pick one off? Are you able to pick it off? They're sticky on the back. So if you can, I'm not sure how easy you can grab Got that. One. Oh, there we go. Okay, so. Oh. <laughs> They're going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll use some tweezers. Oh, my. Right, if I just pop it. Oh, there we go. Oh, right. So you hold dear. the tweezers. Okay. Oh. Just hold the tweezers there. That's it. Oh. And then. You want to pop one. Where do you want to put one? Decide where you want to go first um, with it. Well, in the right part. Oh, let's do, um, make sure it's the right way up. I can't see. No, cement. that's all right. I'll pop Sorry. it there. And then if you push it down, that's it. Perfect. You see that? And then if I get another one for you, tell me where you want it to go and then you can push it down. Uh, uh, one there. One down here. Okay, you, there, push one it, there. you push that one down. Well, those who are watching that know me know that you have to do odd numbers, Nan. Odd numbers look more pleasing to the eye. 
Oh, so you I... either do three or five. Uh, I'll do three then. So where do you want this one to go? Um, in the middle. Oh. Well, you've got your words there, so yes. you don't want to go well, over that. What well, about... I don't know then. You could do another one maybe there or maybe... It's kind of nice having them a bit maybe like there. All right then. Yeah. What do you think? I don't like to take it. I want you to say you 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 oh, put it where yeah. you want it. I right. One there. No problem. We'll go there. Yep. Yeah. And there you go. Push that one down. Perfect. I think that looks lovely. I'm just going to add some to mine. Okay. So there are our finished pull out, pop out, Z fold pull out cards. I'm not entirely sure, but do you want to show yours off? Do you want to bring it a bit? That's it. Perfect. Isn't that lovely? And if you come over this way, there we go. And then show it st how it stands up. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> and then the back, just show them the back so everybody can see that lovely shine from the embossing folder. Oh, that's lovely, that. It's lovely, isn't that it? That is really, really something. Yes, just finishes definitely. it off wonderfully doesn't it really does oh, make a definitely. difference it's lovely really pretty cards yes so there you go everybody i hope you've enjoyed this installment of crafting with nan lots of people have asked for this to see you and hear your voice oh well it's lovely of everybody i just want to say again i'm so proud of my <laughs> wonderful granddaughter <laughs> it's about you not me i don't care if you <laughs> You're something else oh, to me. You. you really are. <laughs> Don't you make me cry. Oh. Um, so, yeah, it's been lovely having you visit. Yeah. And I can't wait. She'll be back again in August. July. Oh, is it July? <laughs> <laughs> Even better. End, end of July. All right, end of July. Okay, yeah. <laughs> perfect. So we will have but another... I'll be through to August. Though, oh, yeah. yeah. So we're going to have another Crafting with Nan yes. in July yeah. stroke beginning of August. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody enjoys it. I hope you've all enjoyed this card today. As always, I'll try and link everything that I've used in the description box below. But this is an old collection. But um, you never know, someone might be selling it somewhere. And any final words from you now? Yes, I'd just like to say to everybody that you've all been very kind, especially to my granddaughter. And to you. They loved your picture on... And, and yes, of course, yes. <laughs> And that, that's it, really. They all wished you a, ha a happy and, holiday. And uh, best luck to everybody. Oh, there you go. Some lovely words from Nan. So, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Check out the links below. Check out the videos that are coming up now. If you're new to the channel and you've enjoyed this video, if you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell, then you'll be able to be uh, notified every time I upload a new tutorial. Thanks for watching. Going to wave now? Bye-bye. Oh. Bye. No, you got waved down here. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>